11 you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem which is the square root of 39 minus x plus the square root of 7 minus x this is equal to 8 so what is the value of x now let's provide a solution here now we are going to solve this by applying two methods let's start with method one let's start with method one so from what we have here we can we have the square root of 39 subtract x plus the square root of 7 minus x this is equal to 8 so we can start by we let the square root of 39 subtract x b equal to m so that now 39 subtract x this is the same thing as m to the power of 2 okay at the same time we have the square root of we let the square root of 7 minus x be equal to n so that now 7 minus x this this will be equal to n to the power of 2 now this implies that m plus n this is equal to 8 so we have m plus n this is equal to 8 now let's call this equation 1 now we have that m squared m squared minus n squared this is the same thing as 39 minus x then subtract n squared which is 7 minus x so that now m squared minus n squared this is equal to 39 subtract x minus 7 minus times minus x this is plus x so that now m squared minus n squared this is equal to 39 minus 7 and this is equal to 32 then minus x plus x this simplifies so we have m squared minus n squared this is equal to 32 and m squared minus n squared this is the difference of two perfect squares that is in the form of a squared minus b squared that we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b so applying this identity then here we have m plus n multiplied by m subtract n this is equal to that two we have m plus n this is what is in equation one here which is equal to eight so let's substitute eight here so we have eight multiplied by m minus n this is equal to 32 so we can divide both signs by eight so that now m minus n this is equal to that's two divided by eight and this is equal to four let's call this equation two now we have that equation one and equation two these are systems of turing equations now we have that equation one and equation two these are systems of turing equations so let's add these two systems of turing equation here so let's sum them so that now we have that m plus m this is equal to 2m then n plus minus n this simplifies then we have 8 plus 4 this is equal to 12 so we can divide both sides by 2 so that now we have that m is equal to 12 divided by 2 and this is equal to 6 now if you recall if you recall we have seen that let the square root of 39 subtract x be equal to m so we can solve for x here given that we have the value of m which is 6 so we have the square root of 39 minus x this is equal to 6 so let's square both sides from here so that now the square root sign simplifies so we have 39 minus x this is equal to 6 squared which is that the 6 
Now let's take 39 on the right hand side so that we have minus x on the left hand side. This is equal to 36 minus 39. So we have minus x. This is equal to 36 minus 39. This is equal to minus 3. So let's divide both signs by minus so that now x is equal to x is equal to 3. We have the value of x equal to 3. Now, let's proceed to method 2. Let's proceed to method 2. Now, here we have the square root of 39. Subtract x, then plus the square root of 7. Minus x, this is equal to 8. So, let's take square root of minus add the 7 minus x on the right hand side so that here we have the square root of 39 minus x this is equal to 8 minus the square root of 7 minus x so the next step is to square on both sides so that now here we eliminate the square root sign this is 39 minus x this is equal to 8 minus the square root of 7 minus x raised to the power of 2. We have that 8 minus the square root of 7 minus x to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared minus 2 times ab then plus b to the power of 2. So applying this algebraic identity, here we have 39 minus x. This is equal to 8 squared minus 2 times 8, then times square root of 7 minus x, then plus square root of 7 minus x raised to the power of 2. So here we have 39 minus x. This is equal to 8 squared, which is 64, minus 8 times 2, this is 16, square root of 7 minus x, then plus, now here we can eliminate the square root side, so we have plus 7 minus x. Now, let's take 64 and 7 and minus x on the left hand side, so that here we have that 9 minus x minus 64 minus 7 plus x this is equal to minus 16 square root of 7 minus x so this means that minus x plus x simplifies then we have minus 64 minus 7 this is minus 71 now this is equal to minus 16 square root of 7 minus x. So 39 minus 71, this is minus 32. This is equal to minus 16 square root of 7 subtract x. So we can divide both signs by minus 16. Here we have minus 16. So here we can simplify. So here we have that 2 divided by 16, which is equal to 2. So this is 2 is equal to square root of 7 minus x. Now, the next step is to square on both sides so that we can eliminate this square root sign. So this implies this is 2 squared and this is equal to 4. This is equal to, we eliminate the square root sign here. So we have 7 minus x. So let's take 7 on the left hand side. So we have 4 minus 7. This is equal to minus x. So this implies that 4 minus 7. This is minus 3. Which is equal to minus x. So if we divide by minus a. This means that x is equal to 3. So both method 1 and method 2 gives us the value of x equal to 3. So let's verify here.
let's verify quickly so let's check if this value of x here satisfies the equation so we have the square root of 39 minus x plus the square root of 7 minus x this is supposed to give us a value of 8 so let's substitute x which is 3 so we have the square root of 39 minus 3 then plus the square root of 7 minus 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 8 so this is 39 minus 3 and this means we have square root of 36 then plus the square root of 7 minus 3 this is 4 this is supposed to give us a value of 8 square root of 36 this is 6 plus square root of 4 which is 2 this should give us a value of 8 6 plus 2 this is 8 and this is equal to 8 so the left hard side is equal to the right hard side and this affirms that the value of x here which is equal to 3 satisfies the equation so kindly of follow the steps like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video